Okay, we're going to look at the Calico Dig Site here in Southern California. A site that dates back to 200,000 years B.C. and shows archaic man being there. Up until recently, we thought it was 11,000 years with uh, the arrowheads of the Clovis people. Now, of course, we know it goes way back before that. The golf sites show you pre-Clovis. This music will stop in a moment. And because this area is just around the corner from where they filmed all the Jawa scenes for in Star Wars, we're going to use one of those songs. Greetings, I'm Dr. Alan Spreen, and welcome to Explain This. It's here you'll find that the world we live in, and even a few worlds we don't live in, contains surprises you weren't expecting. Above and behind me is the Calico Dig, one of the most unusual archaeological sites in the world. We're just outside of Yermo, California, in the middle of the Mojave Desert. Right now, we're going to talk with Mr. Fred Buttinger, the current director of the Calico Dig, who's going to show us around the entire site that you see from top to bottom. Come with us. This is Master Pit 2 that we're going to go into now. Now, this isn't stuff known. on the surface. They've dug down here over 70 the foot. The are digging this by hand. This rock may have been heated, but heated someplace else and then reused here. But it's here, and what stratum are we in right now? Well, we are, in the, we are in the bedding surface, and we're not in the middle of a surface. Uh, uh -huh. are, we, are we 200,000 years ago? Here? Well, for all intents and purposes, yeah. Are there any so what we've seen right there is there's a hearth set of rocks that are on the ground that they've dug down to and met there, and they're all charred and cooked. And his only explanations are they were cooked rocks from somewhere brought here and placed in a circle, or they were a hearth or an area of fire, burnt rocks around it 200,000 years ago. Now they're going to point out some other burnt rocks and ask about, you know, hard rocks, soft rocks, but let's continue. Samples of geofax, or, or what would be a geofax, potentially from soft stone that looks like this? No, soft stones are either going to round up real quickly or they'll be gone if they're too I'm soft. Sure find them anyway. yeah. This is Master Pit 1. As this... I mentioned, this is where the project really started. Now I see the strings and the nailed levels, and it's obvious that they're tracing out stratum dividers, right. I take it. Yep. Now what is it? This is the darkest piece I see in the whole wall. What well, is this? This Have is you a found piece something? of uh, yellow jasper, and it has been plaked. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a lot of chopping tool. We've got scars here and here and over well, they here. They found hundreds of here. chopping tools, cutting tools, carving, primitive archaic tools, mostly hand tools. I've been climbing for a while, so I've left Mr. Buttinger back at the main camp, which you can see over my shoulder. Uh, we've come a ways uh, from where the real dig is. Where we're headed is something called a control pit. What's happened here is to stay with the, the rules of what National Geographic and other organizations uh, uh, hold so that your dig is really considered a legitimate dig is you have to dig somewhere else, picked by someone else, of course, picked in the craziest, farthest away place they can go, to prove, theoretically, that the same artifacts are available everywhere. So if we dug a reference hole, a control pit, and found the same stuff that they found at all different levels, then we'll know that what's in that pit is no big deal, because it's there. Well, it would be everywhere, but no, not necessarily so. No, they've done this thing before and not dug far enough away and were still under the settlement and found the things again. So then they dug another control pit and it was empty and they say, well, because a lot of people outside of their village in one direction or another will be the trash pit. If you accidentally hit something like that, you're going to be like, whoa. And so that can show something. A control pit shows you that the things over here aren't the same as the things over there. Now, of course, if you're finding worked blades and worked tools, it's foolish, but they just to prove it's one of the standards they have. They always build control pits and dig down through. This is also what found the artifacts at the Galt site that date to 16 to 20,000 years BC and predate the Clovis also. 
Let's look at this control pit and what he says about it. Everywhere. We can dig anywhere. So that's what we're going to see next. Man. Now this crazy 77 foot pit was dug by hand to show that Mother Nature didn't make these artifacts. The whole purpose of this is to prove whether the same artifacts would be found here as in the actual dig. And of course they went down 77 feet secondary to this site that was picked by the National Geographic Society and a gentleman who didn't believe that anything at Calico was for real. And they went down to 77 feet and sure enough they found no artifacts. It looks like the real stuff is at Calico. And it is. And if you'll look into it more and uh, Google it, there's a whole site dedicated to you and they show you all the different artifacts and things. In fact, there's a few collectors that have already started working on this and their collections. And they're able to hold on to some of these artifacts, although they're still part of their investigation and uh, pre-purchase them, which is actually helping fund the dig itself. So, um, interesting fact here, but... Uh, 11,000 years kind of turns into 16 to 22,000 years, and then all of a sudden somebody finds something 200,000 years B.C. in America. Again, I think we're going to rewrite some history books here, people. Like, share, and subscribe.